Moraines are left by glaciers. There are many different types of moraines, but for right now we're going to focus on two different types. The terminal moraine, or end moraine, and the processional moraine. But before we start, let's do a short review on what a glacier is. A glacier is a large body of ice that is always in motion due to its own weight. A glacier forms when the amount of winter accumulation is higher than the amount of summer melt. As glaciers advance, they pick up debris. A moraine is an accumulation of soil and rock debris that the glacier picked up during an advancement period. Debris can range from silt size to large boulders, which are also known as erratics. Once the glacier resides, debris is left and creates a list of different landforms, but we're only going to focus on moraines. The picture shows us a valley glacier. The arrow shows us where a terminal or end moraine would be located. Moraines show us the location and or general idea of what the glacier looked like years ago. From the last glaciation period, we have the Laurentide Ice Sheet. We can see that Wisconsin was almost covered. Where the glacier stopped advancing is where we see moraine-like structures. Terminal or end moraines are usually seen where the lobes ended. Here's a photo to get a closer view. An end moraine or terminal moraine forms at the glacier margin. Recessional moraines are moraines that form as a glacier retreats. The diagrams do not really give glaciers justice, so here are a few photos of real-time glaciers in Iceland today. As you can see, the glacier is covered in debris. Debris is also known as glacial till. Glaciers are not moving fast. They're only moving a couple miles per year. Debris that was picked up by a glacier are what moraines are made of. The last glaciation period was during the Pliocene. Oh, and here's a funny joke. Created using Powtoon.